Warren Buffett is widely criticized for his views on modern digital assets such as Bitcoin or NFTs. He has described Bitcoin as a worthless asset that produces nothing, and he won't buy all the Bitcoins in the world for $25. Even when people are willing to pay $70k per coin, and its total capitalization has crossed the trillion dollar mark, Buffett thinks it's nonsense. This is not the first time that he has criticized an emerging technology so harshly. If you go back to the dot-com bubble, he had similar views about internet companies. His close friend Bill Gates tried several times to convince him to invest in tech companies. Like Microsoft, but the answer was the same every time. It has missed many great opportunities, from Amazon to Netflix to Tesla. Each of these stocks rose at least a few thousand percent. A thousand dollar investment in Tesla when it went public would be worth what it is today. $225,000. A5 Kelvin's investment would have earned you a million dollars. An investment of a few million dollars in these companies would be at least hundreds. Millions of dollars. Despite the fact that he has missed many chances. Their net worth is over $100 billion as the economy slumps. A recession, and the stock market is falling. In fact, during the last recession in 2008, he was named the richest person in the world. The world is also letting Bill Gates down. But aside from crypto, tech, and NFTs, Warren Buffett has another industry. Grotz. Housing market. Believe it or not, Warren Buffett never invests in real estate. The only property he has ever bought is a house he bought in 1958 in Omaha, Nebraska. For $31,500 the equivalent of about $285,000 in 2020 dollars, from where he lives. Then, so the natural question is why did the most successful investor in history never invest? In real estate, why does he avoid real estate even though real estate is the safest investment out there? Does Warren Buffett know something we don't? We'll answer all of these questions and more, but before we do, give this. Thumbs up the video and let's find out. You can criticize Warren Buffett's investment strategy all you want, but this. That won't change the fact that his strategic commitment made him perform better. The SP500 rose 84% over the past 20 years, making him one of the most successful investors. Ever since, he is in the stock market as usual, and has consistently achieved successful investment. Warren Buffett was once asked what he thought about buying a house. His answer was strong and straightforward, buy a house, if you know you are going to be staying in an area for a long time. In fact, he said, the 30-year mortgage is the best instrument in the world. If it is such a great investment, why does he always avoid real estate, even residential? The bubble collapsed, Buffett had a lot of cash sitting around and knew the housing market would climb sooner or later, so why didn't he invest in real estate? There are many reasons for this. Let's start from the beginning. Investing in real estate is different from investing in the stock market. Property management is a full-time business. Maybe a property isn't a big deal, especially when it's just a side hustle, but moment. It turns into multiple features, it's a full-time business. Just because you own a property doesn't mean you'll always be able to rent it out. But you still have to keep paying your mortgage. Secondly, Something always breaks, a property needs to be maintained, and during. In crises, you may not be able to rent it for long. That doesn't mean it's a bad business. It just means it's a business. This means you have to spend an equal amount of time managing it. This is why Warren Buffett never got into real estate because he knows his time has come. Being confined and in real estate meant he would have little time to see. For a great investment, obviously. Warren Buffett invested in real estate throughout his career, but mostly invested in rights over the years. In fact, he currently owns a large stake in Store Capital Corporation. It is a publicly traded American real estate investment trust. An investment fund that invests in real estate. Investing in them is similar to investing in stocks. Another reason Buffett avoids real estate is how hard it is to find a great deal on the market. Here's how you make a smart investment. You have to find a great business that is priced right. The price is lower than the actual price for some reason. 
It can be a business with a perfect foundation that can scale easily or not. Has developed a technology that will bring huge profits once it is mass produced. The surface the stock market is full of mispriced stocks, especially during a recession. Sale off crash prices fall when people start panic selling. A rise in interest rates spooks investors, for example, and they start selling en masse. Dropped its stock to the point where Apple stock, for example, fell about 25%. From April to June, did Apple lose a quarter of its workforce in a few months? Did his sales drop by 25% in a few months? No, panic drove the market down. So big business also suffered. This is why it is much easier to find a great deal in the stock market than in real estate. First, real estate prices don't fluctuate as quickly. Yes, we do have real estate crashes from time to time, but they are once in one or two decades. And if there's a lot of bargains in the market, a real estate agent in that area will do the most. Chances are you'll close the deal for yourself before everyone else finds out. We don't have a real estate exchange like we do for stocks that you can go through. Multiple properties from the comfort of your office. Because, unlike real estate, companies go through a long and rigorous process. To get approval to be able to list your stock in the stock market. They are also required to publish their financial statements every quarter, which makes this possible. Buffett has a competitive advantage by finding great deals in the market. Real estate doesn't produce much. It gives you a roof over your head. And that's it. Yes, it might be a better roof, but how many people are willing to pay 10 kelvins per night? However, a business can expand its operations and grow indefinitely. Buffett acquired a 5% stake in Apple in 2018 for $36 billion. Within a few years, when Apple crossed the $3 trillion market cap, the stakes were raised. 160 billion dollars and it has also received regular profits from apple avg 775 million dollars annually there's no way he can pull off something like real estate and it's not even his best deal buffett paid 25 million dollars for c's candy company in 1972 and returned 1.35 billion dollars to berkshire since even when factoring in the 32 million dollars berkshire has invested in the business over the years this is a phenomenal return on investment. The third reason is that there is simply more money in the stock market than in real estate. This is an obvious fact. The United States real estate market is estimated to be around $3.7 trillion by 2021. On the other hand, the stock market is around $93 trillion. The housing market is a segment of the stock market. This is why not a single one of the 10 richest people in the world is a real estate investor world all of them have invented some or the other or started some business in fact the richest real estate investor is xiao Qi, a 91 year old real estate owner who is the 29th richest person in the world with a net worth of 28.6 billion dollars he is not just an investor he is a real estate developer based in hong kong the richest real estate developer in america is donald breen who has a net worth of just 17 dollars billion dollars despite all the opportunities in the stock market buffett wants to make the best of it benefit of his time and expertise if he can make more than 100 billion dollars investing in the stock market why actually go state what made him so successful in the first place was his commitment to his strategies and principles he never jumps on different assets just because it is hyped perhaps this is the most important lesson we can learn from him Buying a home is a great decision if you are planning to stay somewhere for a long time. Time, but getting into real estate is a business, and the question is, do you want to start such a business? If the answer is no because you are in a different business, there is no point in acquiring yourself. In a business in which you are neither competent nor passionate. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.